Hi, let's take a look at sharing options. You can just enable sharing so that you uh, um, the sharing links to create a sharing link here in the configuration file. If that is enabled, you can just select a file or a folder and then say that you want to share it. Oh, don't want to go to this folder. So from here, I want to share this docx file. And here in the sharing, I have multiple options. So I can share with anybody in view or edit mode. I can indicate an expiry link. So if I'm going to share with everybody, maybe I don't want to share uh, forever. I just want to share it for one week, for instance. So I'm going to share it here for one week. You cannot have a sharing date in the past, nor have a sharing date that is less than 24 hours. So uh, that's a, that's an option. Then you can define if you want to view it or edit it, or you can specify specific people that you want to have for your sharing. For instance, I want to share with a person called Igor Stuiver. Let's see that I have some contacts here called Igor or have Igor in the email address. So I can share with Chris Isaac or I can share with uh, this user Igor Stuiver over here. And then all of these uh, sharing uh, these persons will be shared. If you are sharing with specific persons, you cannot enable expiry. That is a SharePoint limit. So we cannot uh, uh, enable that, obviously. So for this one, let's uh, take a look at sharing with a specific date. And then if I share this one over here until the 3rd of August, uh, and I'm going to indicate can view. Next. And I'm going to say done. So now I have a sharing link that I can easily use and, uh, and send out via email or save in Salesforce. All of those options are there. Let's create a sharing link for a specific people. So I'm going to create a sharing link for anybody uh, here. That's going to be Chris Isaac and that's going to be Igor Stuiver. So this sharing link is now created. Uh, I can say, well, these people can edit it because I want to share it so that we can uh, work together, collaborate on this document, click the next button, and then I will have that sharing link for these two uh, people, uh, persons over here. So I can copy the sharing link and then uh, do whatever I need to do, mail it out or whatever. So let's take a look at uh, SharePoint. This was the file that I just shared. If I look uh, in the manage access, you can see that there were multiple links created. And here in this link, I actually specify that I want to share it with Igor Stuiver. And I want to share it with uh, this person over here that, uh, um, yeah, that's going to be Chris Isaac. Chris Isaac is not uh, a user inside uh, uh, Office 365. So obviously, it cannot know the name. It only has the email address.